Hey Mallards, it is Monday and we played yet another uh, round of Monster of the Week. We had an interesting session and I'll let people talk it through. You may remember last time uh, that it ended with Apple getting grabbed by one of our 12 dancing princesses. Uh, so I'll let her lay out for you what she did. Apple? Apple, ever the Daphne in the Scooby-Doo game. Uh, that is us. Uh, conjured, well, you know, when she was taken and we were questioned. Uh, er, and she was questioned about who she was. We, uh, you know, we, we told them, hey, we have magic too. And we understand a little bit about what's going on here. Uh, and they doubted us. How dare they? They doubted us. And uh, I showed my power over frost. And then I showed my power over fire. And no one, they, after everyone calms down from the realization that magic was everywhere and Elizabeth showed that we had an amulet, we were able to, oh, I feel like I'm going to give away the whole darn thing if I keep talking. Uh, we we, we uh, saw that they had an amulet and they uh, did not enjoy that we wanted to take it away from them. So we made a deal to do sort of a trade and I will let someone else take it from them. Uh, I think the best person to perhaps talk about the trade is going to be uh, Bells. And Bells, you can also tell us about your uh, other uh, adventures this evening. Um, so basically, we were making either something that was like a replica of the amulet or the same sentimental value as the amulet for the sisters that could also teleport them. And I was like, oh, so we can just make devices that teleport people? And Bells put his foot down and was like, well, then I'm done being y'all's little teleportation device. So you better make your own teleportation bracelets when you make these teleportation bracelets. So I stood up for myself. <laughs> um, also, we found out a little bit of information about Mr. K. We found out that he wanted to have children with his wife at one point, who is now dead. And also, he has a weird old instrument that might be a hint for something. Um, so that's what we know, and that's what I basically hung out and did. Hmm. Uh, and one of the other things that we had to do was try and explain to the girl's father where they went, uh, so that we could actually, you know, complete the quest, and that was all on CB, so what do we got? Um, CB was basically integral to, um, to the, to the, um, explaining of how the kids got out um and he came up with the idea that they just tied their sheets together you know threw them out the window very very fairy tale-esque uh cb also provided necessary transportation while bells was not interested in teleporting us anymore in the tiny leprechaun helicopter yeah <laughs> Oh, well, Apple learned a new trick. Apple Apple did get a, a charm bracelet, and so now she can teleport. Um, she is very new to it, however, and is not necessarily the best at it yet, but she's, she's trying her little best. Which we appreciate. Uh, as for Petra, uh, my main contribution was I came up with the plan of how to get the girls free, which is we went back to their father and told him what had been happening, explained to him where the girls went at night and in return we got his company and we promptly fired him from his own company and then sold his company to his daughters essentially giving them control over his life and over their futures which is what they wanted they were just upset that they were out of control uh petra didn't care at all for the well-being of the dad but that's where fizzy comes in yeah, so basically the most relevant thing that I did today was refer um, this man to a couple of good therapists. Um, mm -hmm. I will say that is a good contribution, um, but also I would like to note that uh, Bells did admit that I am the only person he likes to teleport around. So. Ooh, so special. All right. And <laughs> Brooke, uh Anything to add from either the girls or Robert or Mr. K? No, Richard. Richard was their dad's name. Richard, yeah. Um, 
y'all are getting so close to Mr. K and it's killing me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, right there. (laughs) We're going to get there. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for playing. It has been a wonderful evening and I'll see you tomorrow.